second. You had a magnificent day, I guess. Did you surprise yourself? Yeah, I'm, I have, I'm having a bit of mixed feelings at the moment because I know it, it was an incredible day. Uh, I was in the breakaway the whole day and then I could could ride a final with two champions like this and in my first Paris-Roubaix ever. So yeah, I'm really proud, but I'm also uh, really disappointed that I, I just missed out on the win because uh, yeah, uh, it was not much at the finish line and it came down to a sprint. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing at the moment, but I hope in a few minutes or a few hours uh, the proud feelings will uh, will increase. You <laughs> should be so proud because going to the finish line with Paul Draghi on the pool, I mean, that's something, right? Yeah, I know, and that's why I tried to attack in the last kilometer, but... Uh, yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Uh, Colbrelli was super strong, he countered the attack, so... Yeah, I, have, I, have, I don't have to blame myself. I think I did everything right, but it's a shame that I end up second. That was a magnificent day you had today. Did you expect that in any way? Did you see that coming? <laughs> no, I didn't see it coming. I would become second, not at all. But I knew I was strong. But in this race, you also need uh, so much luck. And uh, sometimes you have to force it a little bit. And I was really happy that I was in a big breakaway. And then in the first sectors, we... We immediately got away with four, and I didn't make didn't make it myself easy, I think. But uh, yeah, in the end, it worked out perfectly. Uh, I, I Moscon dropped me on the sector because he was riding so hard, and then I could recover a little bit. And then when Van der Poel and Colbrelli uh, came back, I could I could follow. And actually, in the last 20 kilometers, I felt really good. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a shame, but. Yeah. Thank you.